It's just, in this character I started working, and it was really kind of based heavily on it. And I had a cousin, Billy Earl, that lived in that trailer, and he was a merchant marine. And he was the most miserable person in one sense because he, he would get out on the ocean and he would long to be in his trailer on the, in Amarillo. And he would get in his trailer in Amarillo and long to be on the ocean. And it was, but the thing that was interesting to me, it was always this object on the horizon, a flat horizon, you know. It's, that trailer was the same as a ship. And uh, <clears throat> so it's kind of, uh, he had multiple wives, uh, had multiple problems with all of them. Oh, wow. And uh, so th this is really kind of, a, it's a real fictional thing with few incidents and things about, about him. But uh, it's, it's, it's a biography in that sense, but it's told from all these other angles, these other persons, kind of like Pedal Steel, kind of like uh, Billy the Boy. Um, it's, it's, his life is told kind of like a movie, different people talking about it, things they saw in a movie. <clears throat> but these are kind of, each one of these panels is a different voice. And, uh, you know, just kind of following that idea of the, the women he was married to and voices of people talking about his relationship with them. Uh, he wanted to be, him wanting to be an artist, uh, being a painter. And at one, the, my initial work with Ghost Ship was going to be uh, Arto and Sonny Boy. And I was going to do, have two stories, have Arto on one side and kind of Sunny Boy uh, and have him kind of do that. The ship and being in that ship uh, with Arto, that I kept relating back to my cousin, you know, and to the Sunny Boy character. And uh, so the, this is, you might really say it's a preliminary to the ghost ship, you know. It's just a whole other character, a whole other ghost. <laughs>